Welcome to Space Coast Live. I'm Jenna Wood, and today we're coming to you from the Westgate Cocoa Beach Pier. This is a historical landmark here in Cocoa Beach that was built in 1962. But today it's home to five restaurants and four bars. Plus, it's the perfect setting for your next beach day. With more on that, here's Dalton Smith. Behind me is a historic location on Florida Space Coast. The Cocoa Beach Pier stretches 800 feet over the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> In addition to great fishing, the Cocoa Beach Pier offers beach rentals, freshwater showers, beach volleyball courts, lifeguards, and some of the best surfing on the East Coast. Every year, some epic events go down at the Cocoa Beach Pier that you don't want to miss, including Thunder on Cocoa Beach Superboat Races and the NKF Surf Fest. Last but certainly not least is the newly upgraded Tiki Bar at the end of the pier, serving up beer and delicious tropical drinks. That's a wrap. Do not miss the Cocoa Beach Pier on your next visit. And as for me, I'll be at the bar. I'm now inside Pelican's Bar and Grill here at the Cocoa Beach Pier, and this restaurant sits directly on top of the ocean. And yes, it's possible to grab a bite to eat and watch the waves roll on by. Here at Pelican's, they serve fresh seafood and specialty cocktails. And speaking of food, here's a smooth bear with today's Florida Space Coast food scene. Today I'm here in Melbourne, Florida at Latin Flavor. This place has some very authentic Puerto Rican cuisine made from Abuela's recipes. I picked up a couple sangrias for my favorite co-host. Hey, Smooth Bear. Hey. I know you had a, a flight to catch at uh, Orlando Melbourne International Airport, so I grabbed you a sangria. Oh, well, thank you. I am on my way out today, but I had to stop by Latin Flavor to get my grub on. I've sampled across uh, a couple of these plates and gotten a pretty good grasp of uh, what's in front of us. And I can say that everything here is incredible. It's delicious, honestly. I don't think I've ever tasted food this good before. This is a mofungo, but it's actually a trifungo because it's got uh, yucca, sweet plantain, and green plantain. And it has a sweet like flavor to it, but it also has this undertone of garlic, so it gives you that sweet and salty finish. It's incredible. I've never tasted anything quite like it before, and I think I found my new favorite dish. I think this is one of those things that you could only find at a place like Latin Flavor. I know you've taken my food before, so I think I'm gonna go and for this rice right here and take some of this. This is one of the best places if you're flying out of our airport here. This is one of the best places to go before you get on the plane. I agree, 100%. It's really quick, really delicious, and um, I think the best part is definitely this flan. Definitely. Flantastic. Over the years, the Cocoa Beach Pier has earned a great reputation for its fishing. No matter what time of year it is, you can catch a fish out on the pier. Don't have your gear? Don't worry. The Cocoa Beach Pier has your fishing gear ready for you to rent as well as your bait and tackle. Now one adventure you don't want to miss out on here on the Space Coast is Andretti Thrill Park. With more on that, here's Lindsay Schmidt. Calling all thrill seekers, if you haven't been to the Andretti Thrill Park yet, you're missing out. For 19 years, this place has been a go-to for families on the Space Coast. So if you have kids on summer break, they have attractions for all ages, you have to bring them here. here to choose from the one behind me really caught my eye it's the f1 speed track now we're about to hop on and test out our need for speed With so much to 
to do here, you've got to come check it out for yourself. The Ricky Tiki Tavern here at the end of the Cocoa Beach Pier is one experience you can't miss. Enjoy the ocean breeze, sip on a cocktail, and watch the waves roll on by. Another place that's both peaceful and relaxing is the Enchanted Forest Wildlife Sanctuary in Titusville. The Enchanted Forest Sanctuary was the first property purchased by the Environmentally Endangered Lands Program and is the EEL Program's flagship sanctuary. This 472-acre forest is part of the sanctuary network the EEL Program is establishing throughout the Space Coast. Located in the southern limits of the city of Titusville, the Enchanted Forest Sanctuary preserves a diversity of natural habitats found in the area. It offers over four miles of hiking trails and allows visitors to enjoy the natural beauty of the sanctuary. Wildlife observation, nature photography, and hiking are popular recreational activities within the sanctuary. The Management and Education Center also interprets the sanctuary's unique natural features for visitors of all ages and abilities. As a local, I have to say this is one of the most beautiful and natural locations that we have to offer. So make sure you put it on your list for your next visit to Florida Space Coast. Well guys, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Space Coast Live. I'm Jenna Wood and we'll see you guys next time.